Hello everyone, bonjour tout le monde, Jean-Guy Bourguignon for EFA. You've heard me in previous episodes about the conference table of the household, the conference table of the family, the dinner table, the, the lunch table, the breakfast table, that's your conference table. That's the governing body of your household. So I want to talk about the guidance table. The table where members of a productive society are made. That's what members of productive society are made. Whether it's families, blended families, integrated families, adoption families, the the yesterday, Easter Sunday, a lot of people around the world participated around tables within their nest, within their isolation, within their separation. And some of them alone, they did it virtually. They did it virtually with somebody that they were raised with around a good table, around that governing body, that table of guidance. And I'm talking about this today because of all the organic conversations I've had with my daughters and my wife for the last few weeks, because we have the luxury of time now to really take time to have that sit down time, put your phones away, have that conversation time. Right. And then when I when I look at that and I and I look at that, the conversation that I had with them. And then yesterday I had the blessed opportunity to speak to a beautiful family, the mother, the father, the son. And it was an out of the blue conversation, an organic conversation where, you know, when you know, you know. Good people, good providing members of society, a strong nest, strong integrity amongst those family members that comes from the governing body of that family table, around the household table, around the nest, around the tribe. And that's what I tell my daughters all the time, you know, this is your nest. This is your family. There's nobody that's going to take care of you more so than somebody that's raised you, raised you with love, respect, and admiration. If you were raised with love, respect, and admiration, nobody will provide more for you, help you, be there for you, converse with you, get emotional with you, give you direction, rules and responsibilities, put narrow the lane, uh, put guidance in, in your life. But that same person that, that raised you like that and, and that gave you the love and respect and admiration will also be there throughout your life. Not necessarily as a crutch, not necessarily just to always hold you up. But to be there for that same guidance, for that same conversation, for those same debates, for those same conflict resolutions, for just the, the, the sake of finding a, res, a, a solution to a resolution to to consensus, those same individuals are, the, are those individuals are always going to be available for a phone call, always be available for a sit down conversation. And that's why that integral part of society is so important around that dinner table, that breakfast table, that place of gathering. I remember I talked about, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, in the ethnicity, cultures, religions, whatever, for the most part, commonality, we gather. We gather around something, correct? And when I look at our, our, our dinner table or our, our, our table at the household, and I say, this, this is our conference table. My daughters talk about, they, they, they wanted us to have more children, and they wanted me to have more children. And at the time, I told my daughters, like, I had enough with two. I had two daughters. I, and, and it's, 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 I had enough, right? I, 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 I we were good. And, and, and they laughed because there's six chairs at our table. There's four of us. And I, and I said to them this weekend, and they, you know, they talked about this in the past, about the two other chairs. It could have been nice to have brothers and that kind of stuff, et cetera, et cetera. And I said, those two chairs, and I was telling this to them yesterday, those two chairs, you're going to be bring, bringing somebody into your life eventually. Somebody's going to come into your life eventually, and they're going to sit in those chairs. I guarantee you that. I guarantee you there will be conversations, and I'll be listening to understand. Because a lot comes out of people. A lot of comes out of people. You can see what's behind somebody, but a lot comes out of people. And I, and I told them, I'm going, to give you this, I'm going to give you the same guidance at, at 15, at, at 17, at 25, at 54, if I'm still alive. But I will give you those same guidance. Your mother will do the same and will always be there for you to make sure that you're taking the right path. And eventually, you're going to make your own decisions. And those decisions will be based, hopefully, on information that you absorb and taken and listened to and understood. Right? So, and a lot of that comes out of those tables. The organic 
conversations, debate, and et cetera, that comes up. I have three women that sit at my table. I remember mama's boy, five sisters, et cetera, et cetera. And I have three strong women at my table. I have two female dogs too. Like they, they it's very challenging, right? And and we raise our daughters to be strong, strong, independent, individualized women. And I've told my daughters, I don't care in life, you're both getting equal. I will speak to you both equally. I will have you listen to understand, but I'm, you're treated equally, equally. You know, EFA equality for all applies to my daughters also. And I've told them, I don't care if you become a multi-gadillionaire through, through self-made, self-success, self-everything, and you become a strong individual um, group leader for volunteering around the world and building houses for individuals, you're both getting the same from me. Both getting the same because you're going to prove to me that you've earned your path through life. You're going to prove to your mother that you you you, you built your own path through life, and, and and you're going to be treated equally, and 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 that equality comes from because we've given you both an equal message, the equal opportunity, the equal access to those that raise you with love, respect, respect and admiration. And then when I say that, and I, and and, and, I, and I can be blunt. You know, that's, that's, that's the entire life. You know, we're, we're around each other for entire life. I mean, when you look at your upbringing surrounding and foundations and, and, and I tell individuals sometimes like, but it may be blunt, if, if they can't raise children, don't have any. If you can't raise children to become adults, to become responsible members of society, to become the elderly, to become everything, don't have any. Seriously, we have enough on the system right now the system can't take those that can't manage their own household, their own nest, their own tribe, their own conference table. And, 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 I'm, and I'm being blunt, but I'm being realistic. We have enough systems out there because th th those that don't get part of the system of the community system, the providing members of society system, go on other systems, whether it's a, the criminal justice system, whether it's a social assistance systems, whether it's a system that because of not having a good upbringing surrounding a foundation, not not getting a, a good structure under their feet, belong to other systems that that and disables them, disables them through life, disables them through life, takes away opportunities because they weren't given a strong upbringing and surrounding and foundation. I, I, I've worked in, in facilities, assessment facilities, treatment facilities, correctional facilities. Uh, I can go on. Um, I worked in institutions, uh, detention centers, etc. And if you look at individuals and you start going through their files and go through everything, that foundation, that upbringing surrounding a foundation, a lot of them, it wasn't there. It was fragmented. It was fragmented. So. I, I don't want to. I don't want to get also philosophical here, but this table, that table, that place of gathering, the place that you can go back to, or to the individuals that you can go back to, are so important for the upbringing of a strong community, providing community, exchanging community, cooperating community. We're all got to live in measurement procedures. We all got to live in, in, in governing laws and governing bodies and the democracy. Right now, I feel more so like we're, we're everything that's going on. <laughs> if you, I don't want to give it a name, but that that is like there's a lot of dependencies there. There's a lot of those that probably like that dependency, but that's not the society that we we want. That is not the, the, the grassroots want to get back to the grassroots. And this is an opportunity to, to, to build that grassroots even stronger, even stronger. Jean-Guy Bourguignon, EFA 16, the table of guidance. Thank you. Merci. Have yourself a most wonderful day.